Whew. Tired day at work. Excuse me. What's going on guys, it's your boy Shivon here back with another video and today we have the massive AirPod Max unboxing. I know all of you guys are angry looking at this right now like why, why does this kid have all the AirPods Maxes? Now when these were released, everyone was saying it's too expensive, I'm not gonna buy it. Now everyone wants to buy it and now people are mad at me because I have all the different colors. But just because you guys are so mad for no reason, I will be doing a giveaway. Now this video has to reach at least 700k views in order for me to give away one of this thing because i would obviously make back the money on the video but if not i'm super sorry so if you guys want to enter the giveaway just comment down below your instagram name follow me on instagram so you can stay up to date if you guys don't have an instagram at least a twitter or your email just leave something down below so i could choose the winner all right my instagram is at siobhan salmon underscore so follow my Instagram. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. Everyone I wanted to see like the different colors, what it looked like, switch up the ear tips and all of that. So I'm super excited. So yeah, let's jump into the unboxing. Let's go. All right guys, so as I said before, this is insane. We have all the colors. We have the silver, the green, the black. We also have the pink and the blue right here. So I'm not even sure what color I wanna test out or like what's my favorite color. So I guess we'll get to the unboxing first. So I'm just gonna unbox one, show you guys everything, then I'll speed through all the unboxing. So let's just see what, um, I kinda like the blue. The blue looks really nice. Let's see what the blue looks like. So here we go. So on this side, we just have like a blue Apple logo. On the front, we have this embossed AirPods Max printing, blue Apple logo at the back. It shows you the case that everyone hates. Everyone literally hates this smart case for the AirPod Max. All right, first peel. Oof. Come on, there we go. Yes, sir. My money down the drain. Let's get it. All right, come on, blue. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Smells weird. It smells like paint. Was Apple rushing to make these stuff? I or this is so soft. Oh my. It smells like paint though. All right, let's get this bra out the way real quick. So we have this protective film on this. I don't know what this is. Let's get this out the way. Don't need you anymore. And there it is. So we have the blue AirPods Max inside the box. We don't get any power brick. So we only get these Apple cards. We don't even get Apple stickers, like come on Apple. So we just get the instruction manual and pamphlets if you guys don't know to use it and a USB-C to lightning. I see a lot of people complaining that it should have been USB-C. I know USB-C charges faster and everything, but I think lightning makes sense since we already have our um, iPhone lightning cable so we don't have to bring two cables. So we could just use our iPhone and also our AirPods Max cable for one charging. I think it kind of makes sense. So I'm not really too mad with Apple right there. All right guys, so taking a look at the case, the case is super soft. First impressions, the case is super soft and it doesn't really look too bad in person, I'm not gonna lie. But it's just weird. It's not too bad. I don't know. The case is kind of cool, in my opinion. We also have these little protection things on the ear tips. Let's feel these for the first time. It's not as soft as I expected. This thing is super heavy. The headphones are super heavy. Oh my God. So this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna put it around my head and listen to music. So we have the telescoping headbands right here. Pretty nice. So let's see what it feels like. Oof, I can't hear anything. I could hear myself, but like all the white noise is gone. Let's actually see if I could pair up my iPhone with this real quick because it has the H1 chip inside. And as speak of the devil, 
Speak of the devil, the H1 chip already popped up on my phone without me doing anything. So I'm gonna hit connect. But yeah, my first impressions, this thing feels solid. It feels like you're paying for that $549 headphone. The experience is nice. Now let's see what the other ones look like. So I'm gonna breeze through the unboxing experience and then we'll show them right here on the decks. Let's get some real speed. Okay guys, so there we go. They're now officially all unboxed and we have the five colors right here, man. This is, this is crazy. So the first one we're gonna look at is, of course, we already looked at the blue one. So let's take a look at the black. This is what it looks like. So you guys can see we have this nice black case that a lot of people meme. I haven't taken it out yet. So let's take out the black one on the case. Remove these ear tips. And this is what the black looks like. Really, really sophisticated. It looks nice. This is this is like the one you can't really go wrong with. So that's the black. We have the pink one. I really like this as well. Has like a salmon pink to it. Siobhan salmon. This might be my favorite color right here. So the pink. Let's take off these ear tips. And I just can't wait to actually listen to the sound of these things, man. So these actually look kind of bronze pinkish bronze color really nice air tips super soft man this is insane all right let's take a look at the green really nice green this case looks like an army green color the case feels just like the ipad the magic keyboard that's what the case feels like but here's the green this army green looks super good as well i like it and also, as I said before, you could remove the ear tips. So I'm going to get really creative with that one. And finally, we have the, I call this one the MacBook Silver. So it looks just like the, the silver MacBook. Here's the case. Really nice. Ooh, I kind of, I think I like the silver one the best. The silver one looks really good. Premium stuff here from Apple. The lights hitting this just looks really nice. And final one that needs to get out the case, which we already looked at, is the blue. Not really a fan of the sky blue. I think everyone was saying they released them in the iPad Air 4 colorway. So that's really cool right here. But now I'm going to listen to this thing for the first time. Let's get it. All right, first impressions, I think my Sony, I think the Sony XM4s has more bass to it. I'm not gonna lie, but the quality sounds good. Like it's crisp, it's clear. The ANC is the best I've ever heard. The transparency mode is the best I've ever heard. It feels premium, adjustability wise, it's nice. You could still use um, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but you have to buy that from Apple. And I think it doesn't look retarded. Like when I saw it online, it kind of looked retarded. I have no issues with um, using the digital crown on the side to control my volume. Everything feels feels natural. I saw some people like reaching their hands up. I don't know why you'd reach your hands up to control the volume. You just have to like, like hold it, you know? It works really well, I like it. It's way more intuitive than what Sony did with their like um, touch controls. I'm really happy Apple didn't do any like weird finicky touch control thing. The digital crown works amazing. It's very tactile. I thought it would be loose, but it feels really well. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch up all of the different ear tips to see what that would look like.
Alright guys, so basically just looked at all the different color combinations with the AirPod Maxes. Look at all of them right here, all naked. But yeah, that's basically everything in terms of the different color combinations you guys would want to look at. Now, I'm going to be testing these out for the next couple of weeks, testing the audio quality, how it feels. So make sure you guys stick around for the review on the AirPods Max. Alright, so I couldn't resist it. I have to test out the WXM4s. And like have a direct comparison between these AirPods Max. Alright, so I'm gonna turn on my XM4s and hear what it has to offer. Make sure I go into pairing mode. See, that's the annoying thing with the XM4s. If it was just the AirPods, I could just turn it on. You can connect up to two devices with the XM4, but aside from that, that's it. Super light. It feels like a toy when I just felt, oh my god. Let me actually weigh these things to see the difference. AirPod Max. 385 grams not sure if you guys could see it but 385 grams xm4s definitely in the 200 range it's super lightweight come on stand up for me 250 grams so that's a huge difference in terms of weight reduction now the reason i want to mention like weight and everything because you you're going to be wearing this thing for the entire day right not entire day but as in four hours three hours you don't want this to be weighing down on your ears see just putting it on right now i can't really like feel how heavy it is until i put on something like the xm4s which now just feels like it's an absolute toy so oof, the xm4s to me is way more comfortable on the head i'm not gonna lie guys but i don't know the xm4s is just way lighter i could run in this it's the, the air tips is more comfortable for me but i won't compare them too much this is not a comparison video but i just thought i'd say that all right let's listen to the xm force all right the xm fours to me just sounds louder it's not that it has a richer sound or anything it's just louder Back to the XM4s. All right, I hate to say it to you guys, but the XM4s go for like two hundred dollars, right? Two hundred and fifty something dollars. It has more bass. I'm not sure if Apple has like any EQs you could play around with to get that same feeling, but I'm sure with the drivers built into this thing, you could get that same sounding bass and thump i'm a bass kind of guy so that's why i like the sound of the xm4s more but as i said before when it comes on to just the ecosystem the airpod max win in that department and honestly i'm not sh i don't think it's worth the 500 dollars in my opinion but if you have that money i would buy it it's just like people who buy designer stuff like obviously they don't have to spend so much on designer but if you want to have the the best looking headset you want this is like a statement piece right you want to say hey i just spent so much on these airpods they look good as i said before the connectivity between ipads your macbooks it just works seamlessly it's not like the xm4s where you have to like pair every time once you take this thing up it will work now for the cases you already know how i feel about these cases it looks to me it looks good um i don't know it's just not fully protective and I hate the fact that you can't really turn off the headsets. You have to put them in the case. So they're basically forcing you to use the case. But yeah, that's basically my first impressions and unboxing of the AirPods Max. All right, guys, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Will you be picking up one of these AirPods Maxes? And as I said before, if this video hits 700k views, I will do a giveaway of any color you guys want. Actually, I'm going to keep the silver one. The silver one is out, all right? Any other color, 
it's up to you guys so yeah smash the like button share with your friends so we could get to that 700k views drop a like for the youtube algorithm so they keep pushing out this video to all the different sections crease and crevices of youtube but yeah as always guys love peace and tweaks signing out